Good morning, guys. My name is Edwin Romero. Um, I'm going to be briefly talking about how to make your pop pop. So let's get started. Um, so first, why, what's, why is it important to have a personal online profile? And I want to ask, honestly, uh, how many of you already have a complete and updated personal online profile or professional online profile? No one? Okay, well that, that's fine. Um, hopefully, <laughs> hopefully um, I have a couple of tips that might help you get started, so hopefully they are helpful to you. Um, first of all, making a professional impression, um, like we've talked about a lot before, um, we are getting ready to apply for jobs or internships, and employers do look you up online. Uh, so you don't want to have a kind of bad make a bad impression if they look up your name on Google or any other search engine. Um, so making a professional impression, pretty much that's the main reason to have a personal online professional online profile because that way that's kind of going to make them feel more comfortable as to interviewing you and then maybe hiring you. Uh, be relevant. You don't want to be a Google ghost which as in they look up your name and nothing comes up or you, you don't come up at all. Um, so if you don't come up at all, this per professional online profile will make you more relevant um, and it'll be professional so it'll make you look a lot better. And leaving your mark, which was mentioned in an earlier presentation, um, you always want to leave your mark pretty much um, but, I mean, everything ties in together. The professional impression, you're, you're leaving your mark for future employers or for uh, younger students that are gonna be in this class and maybe the, uh, the professor's gonna show them your awesome professional online profile later in the future. So you're already leaving your mark that way. Um, and this is just kind of an example of a resume. Uh, usually people all will upload their resumes on the professional online pro portfolio. Um, where to start? Um, we should start by visiting the website, um, Wix.com, Weebly, Web. Um, have any of you actually even started making a web website? For those, mm -hmm. are those pretty helpful? Yeah. Is there is simple. yeah because they already have templates, right? Is there anyone that has used something different other than these websites? Well, I've just created a website for my dad's uh, clothing line, and we used WordPress, but I do not. It, like, if you don't know how to get <laughs> not comfortable, don't use it. It's very complicated. Okay. But I'm going to use for sure one of those. Okay. Yeah. So, so for beginners like us, these are very good resources. Um, you want to look at examples other of what other people have done, and you want to consider a lot of different things, like your major. If you're an accounting major, you don't want to have a professional online portfolio for, for example, the fashion portfolio. You don't want to have your uh, profile picture <laughs> showing you posing. <laughs> posing. And um, also, there's a couple of different, for example, the business um, and the profession, I think they both would work. Um, but I'm assuming the business one is kind of more for if you have your own business already and you want to market it. Um, also, you want to consider your audience, so employers, pretty much, I think, <coughs> is the main audience for all of us. Um, or even just people. Sometimes, uh, maybe you'll add people on LinkedIn, or they'll add you and you don't really know them, maybe they'll look you up, and just, by you, you'll have that good first impression if they look you up and they find your professional online portfolio. And what is your goal? Um, for example, since you said you've started on yours, what is your goal for your professional online profile? For it to be awesome. For it to be awesome, <laughs> right? <laughs> and it, it, I think it all ties into what we've learned in this class as in the 90, that 90 seconds of awesome, right? So for your portfolio, you're not speaking, but for those first 90 seconds that people see your picture, your information, those are gonna be your first 90 seconds of awesome, right? So we should always consider that what our goal is and our audience. Um, using the proper format. So I've, I've found that most of these websites um, suggest or require that you upload in P 
PDF uh, pictures or your resume, for example. Uh, so I know most of you probably already know how to do this, but if you're like me, I'm not the most tech savvy or uh, computer literate. So this is this kind of explains um, if if you're using different like Word, um, it shows you how to save as, drop down, and then you save it as a PDF. Uh, I found um, a cool website that'll let you do it through the internet. It's called qpdf-editor.com. You just open file and save. And then if you're using Google Docs, which I think a lot of people are using nowadays for everything, um, then you just file and you download it as PDF. Now, like I said, I'm pretty sure most of you know how to do this, but just in case, here it is. <laughs> and Okay, so you want to make sure you stand out, right, and make a good impression. So I found that this was actually a link, link, LinkedIn profile picture that someone had. I, 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 I couldn't believe it was real. Um, so, <laughs> so pretty much, I mean, obviously you guys can see the difference. Um, the picture quality, this is not professional at all. You're taking a picture with your pet and I don't think you're even fully dressed. <laughs> <laughs> and then the quality of the picture is very blurry. And the background also, it looks like she's kind of just, I don't know, in her apartment or house or something. And it's dark. Um, where the other picture, it looks very professional. Um, and that's another thing. It might be, you might have to end up, you know, if you don't have a friend that's a photographer, <coughs> you might have to end up uh, spending a little bit of money, but I would see it as an investment if you take um, headshots. Now, we know that a lot of artists, actors, and you know people like that already do that, but even for professionals, business majors like ourselves, we need to also think about making that investment in head sh professional headshots because we want to look like that guy and not like this cat lady. <laughs> <laughs> Any comments or questions? Let's give a round of applause.